attracted to it because nobody was doing it and um, and it was difficult and it was kind of a personal challenge for myself and but it wasn't until later that I realized that Bach actually wrote these for his son his eldest son as a technical study um, and but they're not just you know etudes with no point they're wonderful chamber music continually bring ourselves back to concentration. Um, we can't just say, okay, I'm ready, and then you play it. Uh, just like anybody listening to a concert, I mean, you know, we have a varying degrees of attention span. may talk to yourself like, oh, here comes that spot um, that I'd been working really hard on. And then it goes great. And then, then you start talking to yourself and going, oh, hey, that went all right. You know, the rest, I should be fine. Okay, or there's only eight bars left, don't mess it up. You know, it's, um, but you have to stop doing that. Mendelssohn certainly fits in a program side of, of Bach. Starts very heroic and uh, uses a counterpoint like Bach. It's a lovely uh, movement on the using the strings of the organ. Probably one of my more difficult challenges is this piece. You don't have time to think about what finger goes where. The way the fugue builds up uh, from this sort of mournful, slower beginning to the, the faster uh, eventual close, it's like a, a cello rondo to the very end. The thing about the organ I find is that um, you, you know, you get the big exciting pieces and it's loud and your heart starts going and you're getting involved. When you get start getting involved physically and physiologically, mm -hmm. it could change you. Mm -hmm. 